and welcome back to my channel welcome back to another vlog so today we are going to Tweedledown for a clear round cross country <clears throat> Never ever done a clear round cross country. I don't think they hugely do it. So really, really grateful for Tweezledown putting this on before the beginning of the season. It's a pick and mix so you can choose as you go round what level you want to jump, which is just absolutely perfect for the start of the season because I can sort of get them going at 100 and then hopefully do some novices by the end. So I am taking Kato, who is currently here eating his breakfast, and I'm also taking Maximus. There's like two sections, 70 to 100 and 100 to intermediate. So I'll do the 100 to intermediate and I can choose any of the jumps as I go along. So I'm hoping Kato will mostly just jump the novice course and I'm hoping Max will jump, start with the 100 and finish on some novice combination just because last week when I went cross country schooling he was a lot more excited than Kato so I was struggling with a little bit of control so I don't want to be coming to two big offences when he's not really listening to me. Get them sorted and we're gonna head on our way. Are you moody? Yeah because you're not coming with us are you? No I know. <laughs> Okay guys, so we've just come out to walk the cross country course. So as I said earlier, it's a clear round and you basically pick and mix as you go round. So they, we go round a course that's got 100 novice and intermediate fences pretty much next to each other. And as you go round, you can pick which ones you do. So you can start 100, you can do some novice fences, some intermediate fences. So it's perfect for training. I'm gonna be aiming to do mostly the novice on Ma uh, Kato and then Max start 100 hopefully finish on the novice but it depends how he's feeling because he was feeling very very well and I didn't have much control last week out cross-country schooling so let's crack on and walk the course so we're at fence two so we now have uh, one fence that's the novice and the intermediate and then another pheasant feeder for the hundred so I think I'm definitely going to do the novice on Kato as I said Max is really excited so I think I'm probably going to do the hundred just to get me going get him into a rhythm fence 4a-b first combination on course brick wall which is fairly skinny but not properly skinny to on a sort of sort of a curving line to B. I think I'm gonna do this one on that. Yeah that's big. Hopefully that one on Kato. That's what I mean is that would this normally be in the intermediate yeah. PE or is it the novice one because I'm not really up for jumping intermediate at the minute. <laughs> it's big. If you're worried no doubt about it. If you're worried if he's jumped one, two, three, four awfully, then just go for the yeah. Or, yeah, hundred. If jumping, and if he's skin, feeling insane back. like last week, go for it. Yeah, I'm doing the novice ABC on both of them. So it is quite tough. It's this brush that's on a slight downhill curve to be a skinny triple brush to another skinny triple brush. But they're a reasonable distance apart. So you do have time to sort of figure yourself out in between. Ash, kind of action. Okay, definitely going to do the novice on both of them here. Yeah. We are at fence at 10 now, so I've just walked the novice. Uh, element of the water which is a house two strides to a drop in water so I think I'm probably going to jump that on both of them but what I will do is just walk the hundred just in case Max is a little bit too spicy if I need to do the hundred. We're just at these two half a house thing. They're both quite wide. They are going downhill. I think I'm probably going to aim because we're at the second half of the course, aim to do the novice probably on both of them. We're now at fence 12. So the hundred and novice are the same. So I'm going to do this on both of them. We've got two sets of rails on a sort of curving distance. 
slightly downhill. So you want to be sitting up, outside leg on, keep your eye on B, because then also you are, we've got a log pile coming after. So it's actually, this is going to come up fairly quickly. So you want to be not too far, sitting up, making sure they know where they're going. We have just finished walking the course and we're going to go and get Max tacked up because he is on first. Really nice course. It's really nice because you can just choose all the way around. I've kind of got a plan in my head as we've talked about, but I am going to see how they warm up, how they start. Um, because if, uh, you know, either Kato gets a little bit strong or Max is too excited, I can always drop down to the 100, which is just the lovely thing about this. So let's go and get Max tacked up. You don't worry, I was ready. <laughs> She's born ready. Right, we're all in position. She's just getting ready to go. Max is actually really calm today. I think he's just taking it all in his stride. He's a lot calmer than he was cross country schooling last week. So let's pray. I'm in position and I'm ready to run from there to over there. Wish me luck. I did all of the novice bar three, three and the cart. That's good. Amazing. Yeah, I was really pleased. I even did the novice there. He was, he was going beautifully. I did the novice up there. Yeah, did you? Yeah. What, the big, huge thing? Yeah. The only ones I didn't do are that table and the cart. Yeah. Oh, and three, sorry. I didn't do that table there. They are more intermediate, I yeah. think. They, they were huge. Yeah. It was much better. He still is very overexcited. I need still a bit more control. No. But I thought he was from last week. He was really, really good. Mm. I now I just need to get out. Massive improvement. Competing a bit, I think, like show jumping as well, because he's just so. He's ready to go again. He's ready to go again. He's just so excited. But okay, guys. So I have just finished with Max. Just walked him off, walking back to the trailer now to get on Kato. But he was just an absolute superstar. Uh, he was so excited last week cross country calling that vlog should come out before so you guys will see but he was really really good today I uh, was still excited but I definitely he was rideable today um, and I jumped all of the novice fences bar three which was 
more than I expected to do so I'm really really chuffed with that so yeah really pleased with him he's definitely ready to go again he's feeling great which also means he's super fit so yeah now I'm gonna untack him we're gonna put his ice boots on and then I'm gonna get on Kato oh yeah I'm always ready Okay guys, so I've just warmed Kato up, walked Trot and Canter, popped a few jumps and he's feeling good. A little bit excited and strong, but not too bad at the minute. So I'm now heading down nearer to the start just to jump a few bigger ones, um, just so I've practiced a few novice fences before. We set out on the course, I think I'm gonna do exactly the same as I did with Max. So pretty much all of the novice course bar three jumps, just cause they are the novice slash intermediate and I know he, he can jump them but he's feeling good got no breastplate on martingale on again today which last week made such a difference he literally was jumping the best he ever was so let's hope it continues just waiting to go everyone is ready i'm in back in my position tell you what they don't call me camera mick for nothing I've got the phone ready to record plus this camera. So I've just finished my round with Kato. He was really, really good, jumped everything, did exactly what I did with Max, did pretty much the whole novice course bar three jumps. Um, he is so much better without this martingale. He was just where it's the first run, he was quite strong um, and excited. Like I get him back, it's just a bit hard work. Um, but he was really good. He jumped everything. He's much more in a rhythm without the martingale. So that is big plus for me. I might think about changing the bit because when I did the team chase, I did put him in a Cheltenham gag just so that then I can just check him and he comes back and then I can let go because I'm not very big and he is quite a big boy. Um, but yeah, really, really pleased with him. I think he's ready to just go again now. They both are, which is lovely to see because they're obviously feeling very, very fit and well and ready for the event season. Uh, we are coming back again in about a week and a half for their Eventus Challenge. That'll just be around the 100 because that I was supposed to do that in January and it got cancelled because of the cold weather. But I think it'll be really good practice just to do another cross-country course, maybe try out that new bit um, and also with some show jumps as well, but they're both feeling really, really well, which is great. And you know, they jumped everything I asked of them. So for the beginning of the season, I really don't think you can ask much more. You know, we can iron out those finer details, but yeah, really pleased with him. No, he did good. He was just strong. 
who was quite strong. I think by the time you saw me, it was a bit better. Okay, guys, so we are back from our clear round at Tweezledown. Both boys were really, really good. They are now out for the rest of the afternoon. Here they all are, enjoying themselves. Oh, no, Max is being grumpy. So really nice, I can then get them out for another couple of hours before coming in later tonight. Okay guys, so I am going to sign off from the vlog now. As I said, the boys are happily out in the field for the rest of the day. So I'm really, really pleased with both of them. It was such a great idea of Tweezledown to do a clear round and pick and mix is even better where you can pick the height you do as you go along so that you can start at a lower level and build up if you want to. Just to say Zeb is here and he is a little bit grumpy because he would have rather have come, wouldn't you? soon though we're just getting you fit uh so yeah really really pleased with both of the boys they were absolutely amazing jumped you know pretty much the whole novice course which i'm really really pleased with because we haven't really been out much this winter you know i've been riding them at home getting them fit but we haven't done any shows or anything really uh we've done one show um, just because I've been so busy with the house um, but yeah really really pleased with them we are going to Tweezledown Adventures Challenge in a week and a half so we will also vlog that hello um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog um, thank you as always for all of your support we really 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 appreciate it and we will see you for the next one